Wow! That's all I've got to say is wow! What a knockout by Deontay Wilder. A first round knockout of Dominic Brazil. Made it very short, short work tonight. He did um, Deontay Wilder to retain his WBC belt. Listen, amazing knockout. It only lasted around, but I enjoyed it thoroughly. That's what you want from heavyweights. You want heavyweights to knock out. It's the only division, when you think about it, all the other divisions I, I'll accept because I'm a boxing purist at heart. I like to see skill sets. I like to see chess matches. I loved all that. But in the heavyweight division, I want to see knockouts. And that's what Deontay Wilder brings, yeah? Welcome back to Keep It Real Boxing, guys. You are listening to Cypher Box. Listen, if you watch my preview video, video, I was right. Yeah, there's a number of things that I said in that video Right, that came to pass in that in that first round from Deontay Wilder and from Dominic Brazil. Yeah, I said Dominic Brazil has a poor defense, a very poor defense. He's clumsy. Yeah, he does his boxing boxing fundamentals aren't exactly great. But the one thing I did say about him is that one, he's durable. Okay, and two, well, well, and two, I don't know if I can stand by the durable part, but he in his previous fights, if you look, watch his previous fights. He is durable, yeah? All right? And two, I said, when he's hurt, he is at his most dangerous, Dominic Brazil. Yeah? So while they did exactly what I, I said Wilder needed to do, which was establish that jab, he did that perfectly, because Brazil has his hands held up in that high guard, but he's so easy to hit with the jab. Straight down the middle, straight down the pipe, he's always open, because he has such poor defense, defensive capabilities. Right? Wilder... Establish that jab nicely. Start throwing that one-two, that right following up. Yeah, and that's exactly what I said. Look for that one-two down the pipe and he will get the knockout. All right? Now he did hurt him in that round. First he hurt Brazil. Brazil obviously backed off into the corner. But remember what I said, that's when he's at his most dangerous Brazil. He threw that wild right hand, clipped Wilder, hurt Wilder. Wilder did the right thing, held on to him, and then Wilder composed himself and went in for that kill. One, two, bam, on the floor. Good night, it's all over. Look, and the thing is, they squashed all that beef as well. And this is what I was talking about, yeah? Everyone's, you know, um, knocking Deontay Wilder about his comments. Oh, I wanna, I'm gonna kill him in the ring. I wanna body on my record and all that sort of stuff. But look what he was, what, were he, what he was like after the fight, yeah? Okay, completely different person. That's just the fighter in you, yeah? That warrior mentality, okay? Hype for the fight. Okay, adrenaline running through your body. Yeah, you're in fight mode. So that's how fighters talk, and everyone out there getting all sensitive about it. This I'm going to talk about it more, but you know, in this in this week's uh, about the ropes um, about the ropes co- uh, podcast, I am going to talk about. It. I'm a little bit tired, guys. So if I'm if I'm like, you know, uh, messing up my words a little bit here, you know, it's like five o'clock in the morning, five thirty, or wherever it is in the morning over here. Yeah, in the UK. But look, I was right in my prediction video, my my preview video. Look, well done to Deontay Wilder. Got him out of there early. Done it way quicker than Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua took seven rounds to do it. And the thing is, if you watch, if you were watching the Sky Sports broadcast tonight, Adam Smith asked Macklin, yeah, he asked Macklin, what do you think AJ would be thinking right now? And Macklin turned around and said, there's going to be an element of fear. And Adam Smith said, do you really think there'll be an element of fear? He goes, yeah, of course. With with the power that this guy has, of course there's going to be an element of fear there. So, it'd be interesting to see what Anthony Joshua does think, if we ever get a, a, a chance to, perhaps if they speak to him before, in the build-up to his fight, and maybe he can give his thoughts. But listen, that was an impressive stoppage of Dominic Brazil. His mandatory challenger got him out of the way, done and dusted. Right? We don't have to worry about Dominic Brazil anymore now, yeah? Okay? But... A lot of people are going to say, oh, he's fighting AJ's leftovers. I know what I'm going to hear, yeah? Right? But he, remember, Dominic Brazil only lost one fight, and that was against AJ. It took AJ seven rounds to knock him out. Deontay Wilder did it in one round tonight, yeah? Great fight. Great one-round fight, yeah? Thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, that knockout was sweet. Right on the button. Good night. I, I, I agree with Adam Smith. I don't even know why the referee, you know, bothered counting. Um... Dominic Brazil should have stopped it because he was literally out and he was like he was dazed and confused kind of like Tyson Fury in a way and he's like what are you doing man stop it but look really enjoyed it um, yeah I hope you like the intro to the video as well 
that did that on purpose just to wind up the AJ fans a little bit because I know how much how easily they are wound up. Um, a little bit of fun on my part. Look, listen. Let me know what you think of the fight. Let me know what you think of um, Macklin's uh, comments that AJ will feel a little bit of fear after seeing this performance. Um, you know, let me know what you thought of um, the fight itself. Um, as always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, this is Scythebox reminding you to keep it real.